So one of the things that we have to deal with now uh, that we're designing out code is those visibility modifiers. And we've actually been seeing them, and here's actually a great example of a visibility modifier right here. That public. So if I don't type it out, if I don't, just like we see here in student, if I don't type out what type of visibility modifier it gets, by default, it is public. So this is no different than me coming in here and putting uh, public in front of every single one of these things. Now you're saying, okay, well, I don't, I don't see the, the necessary point uh, of that. Well, public means that it has access, uh, everyone has access to it. Everyone has access to it. So public, everyone has access to it. And this can be a problem. So say, for example, we look at that test student. I make Randy Savage. Um, and now that I have access to everything, what I can actually do is I can come in here and I can say s one dot first name equals Bob and you know if we look at you know if you're a fan of the professional wrestling uh, world you know I don't want Randy Savage to be named Bob I want him to be named Randy the problem is because of our code because of our 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 public visibility what happens is suddenly this test student is going to change my my first name now why would I, I not want to do this well security vulnerabilities are in place you know now I have access to data that maybe I should not have access to you know what happens if uh, I also had a public, you know, string credit card. And when you make a credit card, I know this isn't real life, but suddenly I put inside their credit card information. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 1, too many. Well, guess what? I have access to that stuff now. I can suddenly get something, even though I didn't, you know, build it over here, because I know it exists over here. Guess what? I'm going to have access to it. Look at that. I now know Randy Savage's credit card number. You know, time to go on a spending spree. So, what can we do? Well, one of the other visibility modifiers that we can work with is something known as private. Now, what private does? Only the class itself has access to it. So now, if I try and compile this, notice how I get an error. Suddenly, Oh, I can't. I can't change first name to Bob. I can't get the credit card number of Randy Savage because these are now private variables. These are private. These are hidden away. I don't have access to them. The only thing I have access to are these public facing methods and constructors. So the only thing I can do is get name. Now this is actually a way we can do what's known as data encapsulation. Data encapsulation, and which is uh, making data fields private, and then making those getters and setters. You now have control over what I can and cannot get with your program. So if you don't want me, well, if you do actually, you know, for whatever reason, you want me to have access to your credit card, get CC, I have to go through this process. I have to then return credit card. Now I have access to it. 
But what happens if I don't want to have access to it? Well, guess what? I just don't create that method. So that's where we want to go with this, is we now are creating more secure objects.